What's going on YouTube? Been a while since I've done a, a really good video kind of showcasing what's going on. And I wanted to start today and update you guys on a lot of changes that are happening here at JDH Reptiles. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Dave. And for those of you who are not new to the channel, you're probably gonna see some new stuff today. And for all the haters out there, thank you very much. I appreciate all your support. Please plug my name as much as you want because you're only helping to elevate me to another level. Let's get to some of the cool shit that's been happening here at JDH Reptiles. All right, guys, so here is stuff that we haven't really talked about much. Uh, Jamie and I got this 10 by 10 shed, and I'm gonna show you where we're at with this. All right, guys, so this shed is gonna be our new rat house. Uh, it's a 10 by 10. It came completely stripped down, basically. Um, and what we've done so far is we've insulated the floor, we've laid our floor. Uh, we're gonna do just vinyl flooring for the, the coverall. We've got insulation on the walls. We have foam filled the walls, the gaps in the walls. And now we're gonna put up our wall boards and finish those out. And then we're gonna bring the rats into the rat room. So let me take a little look inside and show you what we're looking at. Hey guys, so here it is. Again, nothing really super special, I mean, but we're gonna put an exhaust fan up there. Over on this side is another vent. Uh, in there, we're gonna just, that's where we're gonna have our main fan for the room. Uh, we're gonna have a couple other fans up top here for circulation, most likely. And then we're gonna put our racks against this wall, one against that wall, and one against that wall. I right, see so you guys are probably thinking, you know, obviously I've got a lot of rat racks to build because we have the do-it-yourself racks, you know, we've built them out of the, uh, the one by twos with the watering system on them and they've worked great. Uh, we have two of them currently, each one has four levels, uh, which we do a mix of four females to one male per bin, but it wasn't doing everything we needed to support ourselves with the rats for our collection alone. So a good friend of mine, Sam, he's uh, going through some family things and has decided to step away from the hobby. So he was generous enough to give me a call and uh, offer me all his rats, basically. Uh, he was my rat supplier for the longest time. So when he gave me the opportunity, I said, of course, you know, I definitely will take them. We did pay for them, they were not cheap. But let me show you what we got. All right, so there were the original uh, racks that we built. You see. Okay, right, so that one right there is an ARS. I believe it's a 5032 is what they call it. It's got the watering system on it. Now that rack is only six bins tall, and I'm gonna show you why. That would be why we actually purchased two of them. And because Jamie is much shorter than I, uh, we split them into separate sections. So we actually are gonna have three racks. So it'll be two racks of six and one rack of five. Or if we eventually get the wheels for this, which I think is like 375 bucks, it comes with an additional tier. So it'll make it three racks of six levels and each level holds four buckets so it's 24 tubs per rack now that's really cool because these are all completely full and ready to go right when we got them all right guys so that's the rat update for today i have one more big surprise i'm just going to turn the camera around and give you guys a little flash of it and then we'll talk about it in the next week or two when everything's all taken care of ready for this That's it, that's all you get to see. That's going in, into play here very soon. And then from there, we're gonna have a whole bunch of upgrades going on into the snake room as well. So there you go guys, you got your update. I'm glad I could get this one out today. It has been a while. Tomorrow we do an egg cutting. Uh, that's gonna be of the clown or blade clown male 
to the pet clown female. So hopefully we'll get some clowns out of the deal. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So have a fantastic evening. Thank you again for spending your time with us. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll talk to you guys later.